Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. I uh, hope no one notices that I have women's panties on. I sure did make a mess of that dress. Now that you're all here, I'd like to say, uh, please stay in your I homes. Powder. You'd think as much power as I've got in this town, I could ban these stupid pool parties. <sighs> At least we've outlawed the chicken dance. Maybe this pool party will take everyone's minds off this alien invasion crap. Martians this, Martians that. The only thing little and green around here is my prostate. The youth of this town need an outlet for their frustration. Good, clean, asexual fun. Yep, this pool party is just the ticket. Sure is weird. Bert Wither all holed up in a damp cave. There's got to be a funny story there. Those stinking guards with their stupid questions. Obviously, I'm there to deliver food to Bert Wither. What the hell else would I be doing there? Walking past all those gun turrets scares the crap out of me. Lucky I brought a change of pants. What a great guy. He must really love pool parties. That mayor sure is one heck of a public speaker. Shame about his short-term memory. Just keeps saying the same stuff over and over again. You better stay low. They have gun turrets around the perimeter, too. A whole ton of them on the water side. Imagine if you disguised yourself as Burt Wither. They wouldn't know who to shoot. Man, that'd be keen. He. <laughs> That's rich. You can take a human form, can't ya? You could get over there in disguise. Only one disguise will do, though. Boy, do I love Burt Wither. Even though he called me a crackpot in that TV interview, he said lukewarm fusion would never work, but it would, and I know it. If only I'd gotten the funny, but I didn't, thanks to Burt Wither. Bastard. They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them off, though. Just shoot the machine. Watch out for the EMP mines. They've got a bunch of those around the perimeter, too. The perimeter's pretty rough, actually. Morons! Morons! All of you! Me and my alien communicator helmet will show all of you pathetic drones when we make friends with the invading alien horde! Wild eyes, unruly hair, pocket protector, still live with my mother. How can anyone say no? Damn! I think this hat needs 1.1 gigawatts of electricity to break through the ionosphere and contact the alien mothership. I love my mother. A lot. Is that so wrong? Act calm. Keep it cool. No one will notice anything out of the ordinary. Except the aliens. We want them to notice. Oh, yes. We want them. I hear the dolphins are uh, doing a good job keeping in touch with the extraterrestrials. I heard that from one of the mice. I, I guess I could always get a job driving a taxi. They'll take anyone. Keep your paws off me! Or I shall be forced to use my brain discombobulator helmet on your feeble minds! They were like astronauts in some sort of a Star Trek in a galaxy far, far away, but it turned out they were all damn dirty apes, you mini hex! Oh my god. I'm having an internal monologue. About an internal monologue. They're all staring at me. Oh my god. They know, don't they? They can see my deepest fears! What's Einstein got that I haven't got? This crazy alien communicating hat! That's what. Now if I could only get some action. I mean, the chicks dig this crazy helmet. There's always a job at the post office. I hear that's where all the sane people work. Come down, little spacemen. Let's be friends. Stupid communicator hat not working! I'll cross the phase capacitors and boost the retroflux inhibitors. That'll match the Furon's wavelength! It'd be a smooth move, Einstein. E equals MC squared. Like that was a hard one to work out. So, I put the device on my head and walk the streets, not so sure about the next step. Then, I am sharing philosophy with friendly aliens from all over the galaxy. Hey, it's feasible. All of this, khaki, that... What the hell's wrong with Fuchsia? Brass always bust my chops. Jackasses. Man, do I hate marching. These boots suck. My pappy fought in the big one. Damn, that drill sarge booting me out of easy company. 
Now I pulled this lame duck assignment. March here, march there, march it yourself, jerk off. If I don't get to shoot somebody soon, I'm gonna go out of my mind. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm being all I can be. This ain't like WW2. My DI sure is a mean son of a gun. Armquist is my hero. Wonder if anybody'd notice if I went AWOL. Knew I should've joined the Texas Air National Guard. Now that'd be some easy duty. I have a rifle. Her name is Sue. I wanna be just like Sergeant York. Or Gomer Pyle! Why won't those commies invade already? I wanna shoot me some reds! Audie Murphy is a pussy. Now John Wayne, that's a man's man. I love my country. I love my flag. Maybe if I just swap the plates back at the base. Okay, I'm pretty sure my neck isn't supposed to be stuck at that particular angle. Bait. Oh man, I just waxed it. You know, it occurs to me. Maybe we shouldn't be messing with nuclear explosives. Maybe we're not ready. Maybe man wasn't meant to flirt with his own annihilation in such a cavalier way without having developed the ethical maturity to use such awesome power with wisdom and restraint. Ah, what the hell? Nuke them all and let God sort them out! Why is he planning to circle the town first? That's crazy. Gotta remember to salute this time or my ass is gonna wind up in Leavenworth. Heck, what am I so worried about? What's it to me if the president gets whacked? Look for reds under the bed? Give me a break. Paranoid party of one? What do they mean he could look like anyone? Who is this guy, Lon Chaney? Just because I had a commie experience in college, that doesn't make me a commie. Does it? A lot of grunts around lately. Couldn't be commies in Uniontown. Or could they? The hell's in all those army crates coming over from Monroe Island? Ain't nothing there but that old abandoned fort. Or is there? Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Oh damn, I better not forget that password or they'll never let me on that barge. What would Brando do? Stella! Stella! I hear Hoffa's buried under these docks somewheres. Oh wait, he's not dead yet. Uh, I don't know nothing about that. I hope Lorraine don't find out about me and her sister at the wedding. Boy, what a dish she was. Man, I feel like cracking some heads. You know, let off some steam. Oh, man. I'm never gonna finish my dissertation on the workers' means of production helping overthrow the bourgeoisie while working these docks. Elvis Schmelvis, I could do that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Please, God, not cold meatloaf for lunch again. Oh, jeez, Louise. I've got my union card. I can feel a strike coming on. Why does Joe keep looking at me? He can't tell just by looking. Can he? <coughs> oh. That chili's gonna be repeating on me all night long. God, I hate my job. Lift crate, move crate, stand on crate, destroy crate. That's no fun. Why do dock workers all wear these funny hats? Makes me feel like some commie Kerouac beatnik. My mind says Clift. But my body says Brando. Monty just ain't no rebel without a cause driving a streetcar named Desire on the waterfront. Wish I'd brought my slicker. Of course, I could use a shower. I really ought to get up to Jersey and see Uncle Tony this weekend. The more I think about it, communism isn't just an economic system. It's a will. A will to feel proletarian. Boy, there's a lot of weird crap going on around these docks lately. Must be something in the water. Eat your heart out, Brando. I'm on the waterfront too, you schmuck. Man, do I look good in all of drab. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. Oh, those Marines are right. The Army is for pussies. Omar Bradley, five stars? Are you kidding me? I mean, MacArthur, I can see. That's right, folks. I'm not wearing any underwear. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. Man, do I look good in white. <sighs> those Army guys are right. The Navy is for pussies. I have in my pocket a list of 217 known communist sympathizers, and I am going to do something about it. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. I'm the leader of the military of the greatest democratic superpower on this planet, and I'm going commando. I'm comfortable, and I'm angry. Look out! I've got to protect my precious fluids. Purity of essence. Purity of essence. I like that, Ike. Sure, he wouldn't let me nuke Asia Minor, but other than that, what a stand-up guy. Not like Huffman always sucking up to Silhouette. What would Patton do? He'd blow something up, that's what. Now, I have a solution to this communist problem. Nuke him from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Why does the name MacArthur keep popping into my head? Hey, keep it together, soldier. Stop daydreaming like some rookie. Stand up straight, soldier. 
Shoulders back, chest out, chin up, don't slouch. Boy, I love doing that so much I spend my days rehearsing it in my head. You know what I need? I need a corn cob pipe. That's what I need. Oh, man, that would be sweet. Especially if it blows bubbles. That sure would make bubbles happy. Long as I live, I'll never forget the look on that alien's face. Squeal, Crypto-136. Squeal like a pig. And he did, too. <laughs> uh, good times. When I said domination, little did they know I meant global domination. Ruling the world, crushing all men under my boot heel, that sort of thing. These Fierons don't impress me. They don't even have any women amongst their species. How do they expect to conquer the universe without women? You can look, you little space freak. Bet you better not touch. Go on. Just try it. All this power. And I still only make 76 cents for every dollar a man makes. I have double indemnity against these little space freaks. And it's time to collect on my policy. Are you peeking into my head, little alien? Well, this cat's got claws, see? And I'm gonna scratch your beady eyes out! Nice pants. I hear white spandex wearing midgets are all the rage on Proxima Centauri. Sisters are doing it for themselves, and this sister is taking it all the way to the top. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. The same thing I do every night. Try to take over the world! This big blue baby doesn't seem so threatening. I mean, sure, he's destroyed cities across our fair land. But look at the miserable little twerp. You can look, you little space freak. Bet you better not touch. Go on. Just try it. That Ike seems like the guy I'd want to have over for a barbecue. He's got my vote. Not that sleazebag Huffman. Feeling wild today. Maybe I'll try riding that thing bareback. What exactly did Dr. Kinsey mean by deviant? I bet he was talking about Billy Bob. What I need is Cary Grant and Gary Cooper. Now that's what I call town and country. Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Vavoom. Gosh, Uncle Stanley sure didn't seem like himself this morning. Maybe I should give Miles a call. So that's what they mean by a roll in the hay. Seems like a whole lot of nothing to me. My mind says Amos, but my body says Andy. Mr. Ed versus Francis the Talking Mule. Now that's a debate I'd like to see. I'd put a carrot on Mr. Ed myself. I feel a sudden irresistible urge to wear pants and change my name to Ellie Mae. Come on, boys. My biological clock is ticking like a time bomb. Work with me here, people. Hold on to your hats, boys. I'm going commando. Beat your heart out, Lana Turner. You got nothing on me. Why won't Billy Ray stop looking at Joe Bob and start looking at me? That seems very odd. Ooh, there it is again. That not-so-fresh feeling. I want to be a cowgirl, but who would be my cowboy? Got my bus ticket. Hollywood, here I come. Save me a seat at Schwab's. If I can't hear you over my ignorance and raffle blast, you ain't worth hearing. You know, sometimes I think about some poor dumb bastard getting up at 4 a.m. to do menial farm work for no money and... Oh, wait a minute. That's me! Oh, shoot. That's funny. I'm suddenly overcome with the urge to milk a cow. Obsessive compulsive, I think they call it. Ah, oh, the heartland. Where the men are men and the cows are restless. Maybe we ought to go organic. Wait a minute. What kind of panko talk is that? Better get my best clothes on to go into town. Oh, yeah. I ain't got no best clothes. I like Ike fine, but I'd turn tricks for Nixon. Huffman don't even rate a mention. Aliens in the cornfield? I knew I should have built that baseball diamond. What I really want to do is direct. Direct animals, that is, uh, from one field to the next. Now, I think that'd be satisfying. That's President Nixon's the greatest American who ever lived. Not like that slimy President Huffman. Did that cow just speak to me? Say something else, Bessie. It's howdy doody time. It's howdy doody time. Huh. I wonder what my Bessie thinks about becoming beefsteaks in a supermarket someplace. Mmm, steak. What exactly is an udder anyway? Ugly looking thing. I'll shoot them aliens something fierce if they get near my sheep, Dolly. No, think about baseball. Think about baseball. Oh, Rock Hudson. No, no, baseball. Think about baseball. I don't know what that fine weed growing out in the cabbage patch is, 
but it sure looks like it'd go great in my pipe. You know, it's been out there ever since my nephew Tommy came to stay. What's an Elvis? Uh, must be some new breed of cow. Jersey, heifer, yeah, the Elvis. What I wouldn't give for a decent pizza. Now, let's see, I could make some cornbread. The cows give me meat and cheese. Tomatoes from the garden. Yep, pizza, here I come. Lena Turner or Doris Day, oh, why must Hollywood torture me with these impossible choices? Curse you, Hollywood, curse you. I heard old Jeb just struck gold. Yeah, Texas T. Nixon. Is there anything he can't do? That Huffman should step aside for Tricky Dick. I loves my Bessie, but I loves my steak. Bessie, steak, steak, Bessie. Oh, oh Lord, why you make me choose? Did that cow just speak to me? Say something else, Bessie. Jeremiah's been in that sheep barn for quite a spell. My mind says Martin, but my body says Lewis. My funny bone says Bob Hope. Good night, John boy. Oh, wait. It's still daytime. Yep. This is what I thought my life would be like. Cows, check. Farm, check. Bacon, apple pie, and cookies, check. I don't know what that Johnny was sowing, but I don't think it was apple seeds. <laughs> Better find somewhere to sit down. I'm getting them hot flushes. Hoo-wee. Whenever some poor woman is wasting the best years of her life on some two-bit dirt farmer, I'll be there. If it bleeds, I can cook it. Oh, that Elliot Ness. Oh, I'd get touchable for him. Heavens to Betsy, did I just think that? From homecoming queen to dairy wench. I should have never married my cousin. Doesn't Judy know that Manila guy's gay? I think she's living somewhere over the rainbow. That talking horse is the darndest thing. Wonder why our Bessie never talks. Maybe it's only horses that talks and not cows. Virginia Woolf was right. No one is afraid of her. What's an Elvis? Must be some new type of pie. Mmm, Elvis pie. What I need is for some handsome drifter to sweep into town, steal my heart, and just leave me with the memories. Ah, get a grip, Martha. You're a married woman. What's all this commando talk? I don't know about all that. My bloomers are loverly and comfortable. That Burt Withers makes my britches burn. His TV show makes us country folk out to be stupid. That plane ain't truthful like. I know. I could crochet a portrait of President Huffman. I bet he'd be tickled pink by that. Please, Lord, kill me now. Harold just asked me to bake him another apple pie. <laughs> Would it kill the man to compost? Sheesh. Uncle Milty in a dress. Be still, my aching heart. Is it possible to have two changes of life? How many dang ways are there to cook a cow anyway? Hmm. Is there a cow in vittles? Keep it together. Aliens coming soon, taking me away to eternal paradise. Why does everybody have a bomb? Big nuclear bombs are scary. Is it just me? Or is the sidewalk oozing? No, no, it's just me. That's it. Two tabs max from now on. That guy told me it would help me talk to the aliens. Take me up, friends from above. Probe me again. Oh, please, God, probe me again. My mind says pistachio, but my body says rocky road. My stomach says peanut brittle. <laughs> Damn you, Crawford. You're not my mommy, dearest. Why didn't you love me like the aliens do, mommy? I saw the finest minds of my generation consumed by madness. I also saw the feeblest minds of my generation consumed by madness. It's nothing to howl about, really. Nixon's an alien. So's Huffman. So's Doris Day. So's John Wayne. Why am I the only one who seems to notice? Redrum. Redrum. Reality bites. What a concept. Why does that woman have tentacles coming out of her ears? I wonder if she's an alien. Hello? A mind is a beautiful thing to lose. I should know. I've done it. Twice! rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the screaming will stop. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Don't bogart the delusions. I like my delusions. 
The two sexiest words in the English language. Stocks and bonds. You know, there sure is a lack of color in this town. My mind says Huffman, but my stomach says Eisenhower. Huh. I don't know what that means, really. But I bet Ike tastes like a cheeseburger. What's an Elvis? Hmm. Must be a new model car. I gotta upgrade to one of those. The 1954 Elvis Convertible. If only there were some way to electronically facilitate the private viewing of illicit photography. I predict it will happen in the distant future of 1975. It will be called the Discotron, and it will change the face of humanity. It's like we traveled to a future where TV was in color, and they made a program about our happy days in Santa Modesta. Shiny new automobile? Check. Wife cooking meatloaf taking Valium? Check. Monotonous job as a filing clerk? Check. Unbridled inner rage hidden just below the surface of normalcy? Check. I like Ike. He's no President Huffman, but he sure knew how to win a war. Boy, do I love my new Edsel. It's a classic in the making. <sighs> ah, smell that suburban air. You can't get that in this city. No siree. <laughs> know what would really make this perfect? A new riding mower. Man against nature. Civilization beating back wilderness. The eternal struggle continues. If there's anything more sensual than polyester, I haven't found it. I got married yesterday, and now I have the seven-minute itch. And I want to scratch it, baby. Yowza, yowza. Reminds me of that time I accidentally took that debutante home from the club instead of my wife. Boy, was that embarrassing. So this is what Elliot meant by a life of quiet desperation. Thanks a lot, you limey bastard. A house in the suburbs, a loving wife, a happy family, mowing on Saturday, church on Sundays, working for my daily bread, and a shed full of power tools. What more could a man want? I've got to keep up with the Joneses. If only I could remember who the Joneses are. Oh, wait a minute. These houses all look alike. Which one do I live in again? Who oh boy, that Ike. You sure could barbecue with them. Who <laughs> oh boy, Ike, the barbecuing president. Now that's a platform for election. Do it again, Some people Daddy. call me Joe Sixpack. I don't know why. I never work out. Not one of us. Not one of us. Hey, Yuri, we don't want your kind around here. This is America, freak. You hear me? America! Hold it right there, comrade. We're gonna beat you, conformist bastards. United we stand. Let's string this one up. You pick a tree, I'll go find us some rope. I've got one! Over here! Somebody get me a shotgun! I'm seeing red! I've got my eagle eye on you, mister! You look a little shady to me, buster! Hey, is that a commie? I don't have the slightest idea what a commie looks like, but I bet that's a commie! Commie, commie, commie! Nya, 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 nya. What are you looking at? Run for the tundra, Ivan! You want a piece of me, tough guy? Let's string this one up! Mob violence really gets my motor running. Traitor! Hold it right there, comrade. You're not getting my Tupperware, commie. Not one of us! Not one of us! Hey, Yuri! We don't want your kind around here. You want a taste of this baklava, Ivan? Eat your heart out! Come on, commie, assault my virtue! I dare you. Kami, kami, kami. Nya, 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 nya. What's I spy with my little eye a kami pinko. Get up! You look a little pink around the gills. You look a little shady to me, Buster. Hey, is that a kami? I don't have the slightest idea what a kami looks like, but I'll just bet my bottom dollar that's a kami. You come near me and I'll scratch your eyes out. I'm seeing red. That rotten mayor. We gave $500 to that campaign and still no invitation to the pool party at the motel. Maybe I should sell those photos to the tabloids after all. They, they look so happy. Oh, I can't stand it. I hate this stupid, small-minded little town. I'm getting out of here if it's the last thing I do. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'm just gonna hit the pool party, pick up some dumb young stud, take him home and drown my sorrows in cheap, meaningless sex. Auga! That Marilyn, a playwright and a baseball player. <gasps> that little minx. Centerfold girls have all the fun. Now where did I put my kids? Hmm, lovely lawn, Judy. 
beautiful garden, dear. You man-stealing stuck-up witch. I, I like that, Huffman. Ike is bald and shifty. Is it wrong to be so shallow? If Bobby Jr. asks for that bike one more time, I swear to God I'm gonna strangle him. The sexiest word in the English language? Tupperware. Well. I must say, that vacuum cleaner salesman made a very compelling pitch. Must keep smiling. Only three blocks till home and mother's little helper. I love, I love, Jazz! Oh, the shame of it! Charlie Parker, how you have corrupted oh, yeah. me. Oh, he's cute. I wonder if he's... Oh, wait, no, I'm a married woman. If only there was some way to electronically facilitate the private viewing of illicit photography, like some sort of computing device with a screen. Ah, uh, it'll never happen. Oh, God, I need another Valium. Or two. No. Make that three. One drink for breakfast, two for lunch, and with any luck, I won't even remember dinner. Hmm, I could go back to work, but I think if I have to polish that floor one more time, I'll just die. I'm afraid of Virginia Woolf. I wonder if it's true what they say about Milton Berle. Will you get a load of this new brassiere? I could torpedo a U-boat with these things. Oh, I think my face just cracked. Gotta get back home to the makeup. Man, oh man, she may be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. Nervous Check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Adley Smadley. That guy's a smarty pants. Give me the dumber candidate every time. I voted for Huffman, didn't I? I gotta find me a policeman, then a construction worker, and then maybe an Indian. I'd make me a barbershop quartet like no other. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. That's right, baby. I'm going commando. I'm free and easy. Wonder what's for dinner. Oh, yeah, beef. Again. I want a salad. Is that so wrong? I'm a walking myocardial infarction. Just a waiting to happen. I hope Lenny knows what he's a doing with that mouse and those men. Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Va boom! What's an Elvis? Must be a new type of ten gallon hat. I want to slap an Elvis on my head. Man, that talking horse on TV's a hoot. Wonder how they get him to talk. Magic oats or something. Okay, I need a break. That cow's starting to look a little too good. What I need is a farmhands union. Let's see Brando make a movie about that. Clearly, the best test of a viable presidential candidate is, do I want to invite him over for a barbecue? Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with animals peaceably organizing. After all, it is an animal farm. Man, am I buff. Beat that, Charles Atlas. I want to be a cowboy. But who would be my cowgirl? Would it kill her to use tofu? Oh, wait, uh, tofu? What the heck kind of thinking is that? Meat, meat! I like meat! If only I could confess my secret love for Joe Bob. Joe Bob the chicken, that is. Damn, I love that animal. I can feel my arteries clogging up right this second. And I like it. Some pig on a spider's web. What in the world did that mean? Jeez. This is even worse than that time she ate them funny mushrooms. Good thing we got backup coming. Bring it on, bad guys. I'm going all Joe Friday. I have a dragnet out for evildoers. I am the law! I love a man in uniform. Oh, wait. I am a man in uniform. <laughs> to serve and protect. To serve and protect. To serve and protect. To swerve and defect. To curve and perfect. Damn it, I lost it. What would Elliot Ness do? Never carry a knife to a gunfight? No, that's not it. What was it again? Move along! Nothing to see here. Oh, I sure like saying that. My mind says Marilyn, but my nightstick says Betty Page. Keep it together, man. Keep it together. Evildoers are everywhere. Wonder if I ought to go hit somebody with my nightstick. Could be fun. It's a good day to use excessive force. Heck, every day is a good day for excessive force. Go ahead. Make my day. I like that Nixon. 
I got a feeling he's gonna make us cops popular again. Nightstick, check. Taking bribes from local gangster, check. Sense of moral superiority over fellow citizens, check. Time to arrest me some peeps. Bill of Rights. Who the hell needs a Bill of Rights? I'm Bill, and I'm right. I wanna ride a motorcycle. How come I never get to ride a motorcycle? Motorcycle cops have all the fun. Well, it was either bust in crooks or go back and get my doctorate in quantum physics. There's a screenplay in this. Yo, 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 Serpico! Oh, wait, wrong decade. How the hell am I supposed to run in these shoes? Shiny, shiny shoes. Now, if I could just find a cowboy, an Indian, and a construction worker, I could form that singing group down at the village. What would we call ourselves? The city people, the village folks, or something? Man, am I crooked. I just roughed up a little old lady for jaywalking. <laughs> Ah, sometimes I kill myself. Great. He's gonna circle the town first. Like I don't have enough to worry about. You know, uh, I'm a fall. I would look good in mauve. Red's under the bed, huh? Time to take a little trip to Cincinnati. Ooh, this garter belt does make me feel sexier. What do you know? Hoover was right. What did they mean? He could look like anyone. Duty to Speak for your parents. Red's under the bed, huh? Time to take a little trip to Cincinnati. What do you know? It's not that I don't hate commies, it's just those Che Guevara t-shirts are so cool. What did they mean he could look like anyone? Speak for yourself, Watch comrades. For Why does Silhouette give me these jobs? I wonder if it's because I hit on her at the majestic Christmas party. Wait, no one's even supposed to know Silhouette's a chick. Scratch that thought. You people make me sick, pathetic humans. I like Huffman. But I'll kill him in a second if I get the order. You're nothing without me. Remember that. Now if they sent me into Cuba, bam, no more problem. That's all I'm saying. What am I thinking? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Kinsey was right. I am a smoldering hotbed of sexuality under my cold, reserved exterior. Uh-oh. What do I do with my gun? It's not in my holster. Not in my pants. Oh, it's in my hand. I have to report to Hoover again. Please, God, let him be wearing pants this time. Agent Arbogast Majestic is my name, and Furon Hunting is my game. And the odd political assassination, but I don't like to talk about that. I know what you're thinking, ladies. And yes, I'm available. Man, I am good. How good? Mmm, so good. I could take that guy, and that guy, and her. Wonder what I'd look like in some other color. I hear brown is the new black. Look at me again, punk. I dare ya. I double dare ya. I double dog dare ya. What if the other guys notice? Oh, who cares? Lace feels so comfortable under this suit. Bite me. Look at these people. Weak, pathetic. Without us, they'd be toast. God, I look good. Scratch that. I look real that good. That must have been some dame. Those army guys are right. The Air Force is for pussy. I am the god of thunder. That's right, folks. I'm not wearing underwear. I've got the right stuff. Wonder what you have to do to get into the Mile High Club. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. I am really hungry. Man, do I look good in blue. Gotta find my corner of the sky. I don't remember anything but the bright light. Oh, and, and the warm, moist feeling afterwards. They don't see, but I do. Oh, oh yes, I do. Oh, gosh darn it, it just beat my pants. It's like the door's wide open, the lights are off, and nobody's home. I need another beer. There is no God. I am God. God of stinky, poopy pants. What if God doesn't really exist? What if he's just a, an existential manifestation of our collective cultural yearning for a sense of parental power over a chaotic universe? Nah, screw it. The end is an eye. Who am I kidding? What does an eye mean, anyways? 1,742 bottles of beer on the wall. 1,742 bottles of beer. When, Lord, will they probe me again? These sheep walk around like... Um, sheep. Who am I? What am I doing here? What's my name again? The electricity. It speaks to me. So does that trash can. And the small birdies. They all think I'm crazy. I know it. 
I, I mean, I am crazy, but that's hardly the point. That's 953 days without a bath. There's a new record called Guinness. Hmm, Guinness. Those little freaks abduct me and then leave me. The end is nigh. It's really, really nigh. The guy on the radio said this speech was of vital importance, and I always believe everything I hear on the radio, especially those nut jobs on the morning zoo. Man, oh man, do they crack me up. <laughs> it's true. These lifts in my shoes do make me feel more assertive. I hope my secretary didn't notice I snuck out to see this. I bet that's not even him. It's probably a stunt double or a, or a robot doppelganger. Why doesn't he come and shake hands like he used to? What the hell's he so scared of? Chicken? Walk, walk, walk. Hmm. What if you cooked hamburgers really fast and gave them to people in cars through a window? Nah, that's a dumb idea. It'd never work. Flying saucers. What'll they think of next? God, I need a drink. No, make that two drinks. Two very large drinks. I like Ike, and I'm proud of it. I just don't get this rock and roll, nothing but noise. What is it with teenagers these days? Janet better not give me any lip when I get home. I'm in no mood. You know, you see a girl a couple of times a week just for laughs, and then right away they think you're going to divorce your wife. Now I ask you, is that fair? Bird? Coltrane? Bird? Coltrane? I just don't know, Daddy-o. Out of all the streets in all the cities, I had to walk into this one. That Rock Hudson, what a dreamboat. Did I just think that? Um, lumberjacks, football, uh, ah, that, that's better. Oh my god, is my fly down? Don't look, don't look. Mm-mm, can't wait to get home. Nobody makes me loaf like my Mary Lou. This feeling like someone's listening to my every thought. I just can't shake it. My mind says Ike, but my body says Ike. Hoffman, you just lost a vote. I wonder if Doris Day is really as innocent as she looks. Bet she's a wildcat. Maybe I'd better go back to the two martini lunch. Why won't Miss Kublik go out with me? She's a fox, and I dig her apartment. This city's getting way too crowded. A million people is just too many. It'd be great if something just came along and just swept them away with, say, a, a superheated death ray. God, I hope we land the Jenkins account. Can't wait to rub Andrew's nose in it. Darn it all. I knew I should have taken the insurance at the rental counter, but that clerk was so smug. Okay, I'm fairly certain my neck isn't supposed to be stuck at that particular angle. Oh, what the heck. I needed a new car anyway. I think I'll get an Edsel. They're so classy. What's with all the guns and goons? What is this, a police state? Oh, yeah. He loves me. I know he loves me. If only he'd acknowledge me in public. Well, good thing I kept the blue dress. Where's Rock Hudson? They said Rock Hudson was gonna be here. I hope the boss didn't notice I snuck out to see this. How do I tell him I'm three weeks late? What would Marilyn do in a situation like this? Other than take a lot of bennies. Maybe I should just leave. Take Bob's cash, head for California. I could be a star, I know it. Oh, wonder how I'd look in that dress. Betty Milford would just die of envy. If that boss of mine pats my ass one more time, I'm gonna deck him. There's got to be a rich gentleman for me somewhere in this city. My mind says Rock Hudson, but my body says Cary Grant. I wonder if there's a two-for-one deal going on movie stars. It Marilyn! How the hell am I supposed to keep up with that image? I am such a plain Jane. I'd like to meet the man who invented high heels, so I could kill him. If only I could keep my kitchen smelling clean and fresh. Wait a minute. I'm no housewife. I'm a working gal. <sighs> if only Dick would pay as much attention to me as he does his collection of Broadway show tunes. Oh, he is cute. I wonder if he is... Wait. No, I'm a married woman. Ooh, there's a cute one. Don't be married, don't be gay. Don't be married, don't be gay. Jay, I should have listened to my mother. How could he? On our honeymoon. 
I'm more than just a secretary. Eat your heart out, Hepburn. I can have breakfast at a jewelry store with my man any day of the week. One more sweet cheeks comment, and I'm calling my lawyer. Oh, what was in that drink? <gasps> Ooh. Now this is what a girdle's supposed to feel like. Ouch! Oh. One drink for breakfast, two for lunch. With any luck, I won't even remember dinner. I've just got to have that dress. It's so dreamy. Now, where did I put my kids? Mild-mannered secretary by day. High-class call girl snaring sensitive lonely millionaires by night. A girl can dream, can't she? Must kill Mooper-san! Feels so funky! Bizarro world pretty! My brain hurts. Think hurt. Ouch! One plus one equal window. Good mouse, Algernon. Smarter than Charlie. G-Man, smash. G-Man, smash. Brains, brains. Why do I always forget to take the rubber gloves off before leaving the lab? If you believe in telekinesis, raise my hand. <laughs> I'm working on something called the Internet, but I'm worried that it won't catch on. Soon I'll prove the human mind can be controlled by televised propaganda. And then I'll start my own cable news network. Ha ha! Where the heck are those majestic agents? America ain't gonna brainwash itself. That special seasoning has succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. These people are now rabid paranoics and incredibly hostile to anyone who's different. And as an unexpected side benefit, 78% of them are now registering Republican. Ever since I was a small boy in Stuttgart, I dreamed of drugging the food supply of an entire population. Now, it's my job. <laughs> God, I love America. I know I'm not supposed to eat from the diner, or I'll turn into a mindless paranoid drone, but that rhubarb pie is calling my name. Heinrich! Liebchen! Heinrich! The psychotropic compounds in that scheissen turned our lab rats into a pack of paranoid junkies. I just don't know if these dreams are normal. Ach, what the hell? Sometimes a flying saucer is just a flying saucer. This Kleinkind could kill a million communists in the blink of an eye. Papa would be so proud. This Kleinkind could kill a million communists. I fervently hope we never need to use this fearsome instrument of death. On the other hand, if we do, it's gonna look wicked cool. Blue Rider? <sighs> that Armquist picks some really stupid passwords. Why does Hergensheimer get to meet Armquist? Why not me? Aren't I good enough? Aren't I pretty? That Hergensheimer's a pompous ass. How I long to be more like him. I mustn't be late. They're waiting for me in the test chamber. Oh, wait. Wrong game. Damn Dr. Oppenheimer wearing the same bow tie as me. Stupid Americans. Hmm. I wonder how much he paid for it. Here I am, brains the size of a planet, and I can't get lucky to save my life! I've got it! The solution to Fermat's last theorem! It's... I'm busy! Oh, Please wait, me alone. wait, ah, crap, I just had it! I was just following standard insertion procedures. Ach, insert tab A into slot B. What could go wrong? Wait a minute, what if E equaled MC cubed? Mein Gott! I just saw the hole in my pants by looking around the curvature of space and time! No, no, that can't be right. Carry the alpha, drop the theta, square root of the omega... Ah, damn! I never should have dropped those particle physics seminars back in Leipzig. I've got what every woman wants! A 12-inch slide rule and a 166 IQ. <laughs> you know, I still don't get that magic eye thing. I can't see the damn dolphin! It's all relative. <laughs> that one kills me. Here is my theorem. Quantum physics is crap. Boars, schmores. I poop on his theory. Favorite scientist. Favorite scientist. Hmm. Well, I sure wish I had wooden teeth like that Tycho Brahe. <laughs> God does not play dice with the universe. He does, however, hit the blackjack tables. R D R squared? I don't get it. I'd give my moral compass for one second with a fresh alien corpse, if I had one. Achtung! I could call them quarks. Nah, it's not commercial enough. 
Lipton's? Hmm, nope, nope. Messons? No, that sounds like a stupid alien race in some sort of child's game. Gluons? Now that's just plain silly. Uncertainty principle? Give me a break. Grow some balls, Heisenberg. <laughs> I remember this one time at Pennemund. Dr. Fritzenberger put molasses in the V2 engine. Ach, what a mess. These Americans are no fun. What did if I do only I could dissect that? that alien. It has Nobel Prize written all over its little green head.